drenching rain, flash floods, and water rescues. Good evening. This is CTV News for Monday, July 8th. I'm Melissa Wright. And I'm Patricia Valen. Thank you for joining us. Well, residents in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia are recovering from a flash flood emergency that left many cars and homes uh, filled, drenched with water. Our Keisha Butts has more. Heavy rains drenched the DMV area of DC, Maryland and Virginia, leaving many motors to deal with excessive flooding. According to the county's fire department, it received more than 30 calls of people trapped in cars and there were similar incidents across the region. Officials also say they experienced about 40 calls of flooding in homes. 30 flooding calls with about uh, 8 to 10 uh, water rescue calls. And all the water rescue calls have been people that have not heeded the warnings and have been driving through high water. So, And uh, they basically have been assisted out of those uh, high water areas. No one was injured, no one was transported. But again, you know, the message is, you know, turn around, don't drown. Do not drive through standing water. S if you get out, I mean, six inches of, of moving water can, you know, knock you down a, a foot of, water, moving water can move a car, so it's best to, if you see high water, to turn around and, and not, try not to drive through it. Uh, we've had flooded basements, a couple of daycare centers had water in their basements. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about the flooding in the homes, you know, in, in the basements. What can people do? Uh, well, one, uh, I would not advise them to go down into the basement. Uh, electricity and water don't mi mix well. Uh, normally, we have them contact contractor to come in to remove the water. If you don't stand in the water, again, for the electrical cautions you may have. If you're in a home and, and it starts to flood, you know, get to uh, a higher floor. Uh, do not stand in, in water and try to turn off any electricity. However, that if you're able to uh, uh, turn off uh, your power without standing in water and it's not wet, we do recommend that, but only if it's not wet and you're not standing in water to do so. If you're experiencing flooding, call the non-emergency public safety number at 301-352-1200. In Landover, Keisha Butts, CTV News. And for more flash flood safety tips, you can go to weather.gov. Well, heavy rains knocked out power in several communities this morning and caused some outages at traffic lights as well. This is the scene at the intersection of Central Avenue and Watkins Park Drive in Mitchville. Drivers had to take extra precautions to get through the busy intersection. Motorists at the nearby Watkins Park Plaza described what they saw. I actually need to go across the street, so I'm going to have to come out and make a U-turn because it's a bad intersection. Um, also, coming off of one of the ramps up here, coming from... Uh, I guess Campus Way South, it's a little flooded. Yeah, I mean, be cautious and take your time. Um, it's wet out here. The Department of Emergency Management says less than 200 power, uh, power outages were reported. In other news tonight, state police made thousands of traffic stops over the Independence Day weekend, leading to more than 100 arrests for impaired driving. The increased enforcement effort kicked off on July 3rd and continued through the 7th. In all, police made 9,500 traffic stops, 240 were arrested, including 119 for impaired driving.